Hi, welcome to your practice. My name is Mary. Thanks for joining me. I have a short and sweet little practice for you to help wind down sometime before bedtime. So come to your mat and we'll just start by coming into a forward fold. So you can just take your hands at your heart, bring your feet about hip width distance apart and bend your knees generously and then just let yourself fold. And then we'll move a little bit. We'll be in fold when you're ready to, to inhale. Take a breath in and come to a slight half lift. And then as you exhale, fold. And then just move with your breath. Rising up on inhale, exhaling down. And let's do two more of those. So just starting to get into your breath. Just feeling a little bit of a lengthening along the backs of your legs. You can keep your legs slightly bent or not. So now in fold, plant your hands, come to all fours, and we'll just do a couple of chakra vakasanas. So cat cow child's pose. So as you breathe in, bring your chest forward, tailbone up. And then as you exhale, round your spine, tuck in your chin and tailbone and sink towards child's pose. And then move with your breath, inhaling through all fours, all the way to cow pose. Exhaling, rounding spine, moving all the way to child's pose. And let's move with your breath, just following your own breath rhythm. And we'll do one more and then we'll land in child's pose so you could have your knees wide start with your arms stretched out in front of you you can start by tenting your fingers and then relaxing your palms to the ground so inhale just tenting your fingers exhaling down and then bring your right hand to the outside of your mat. Place your left hand on top of right. Take a breath here. And then move back to center. With one breath and then move to the other side. Taking a breath in and a breath out. So feeling some lengthening along your right side body. Come back to child's pose with your arms in the center and then press yourself to all fours and then make your way to a seat with your legs in front of you and we'll just do a nice forward fold so just leaning forward you could have your hands on your thighs or your shins maybe your toes but don't overstretch so just Feeling a sense of lengthening along the backs of your legs. And then bringing awareness to neck and shoulders. Noticing if you're holding tension there. You could move your head from left to right just to see if there's tension. Maybe do just a slight roll of the shoulders one direction and the next. If you feel some tension, perhaps sit up just a little bit more. And just allow yourself to have a smooth and even breath. And then let yourself sit up. And then we'll move onto our backs, just very gently lowering down. You can place your hands on your knees to start and just take a rock from side to side. Place your feet down. Place your arms on the ground next alongside your body. So we're just gonna do more like a half bridge. So we're just gonna rise up just a little bit as you breathe in and exhale, let your spine round down to the ground. So let's do that two more times. So just peeling your spine up and then exhaling spine to the ground. Let's do one more time, moving with your breath, breathing in as you rise, not stretching or straining anything, just gentle movements. And then we'll come to a reclined bound angle. So bring the soles of your feet together. 
and just let your legs open up. You could have your hands alongside your body. You could place your hands, one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. So just take a moment here. Let's take two rounds of breath. Breathing in and out. In and out. So now close your legs like a book and then we'll come to a legs up the wall position. So sometimes it's helpful to sit alongside a wall, come to your back and then just bring your legs up, just kind of scooching your body to the wall. And then we'll stay here for two breaths. And then you can choose to stay with your legs up the wall, or if you prefer, you could come back to the reclined bound angle pose with your feet together. The other option is a traditional Shavasana with your palms up, legs in a V. So choose which works best for you. And then as you're coming in, to your relaxation pose. You could close your eyes. Just draw a gentle attention to your breath. Notice any outside influences that you might have. Perhaps um, the hum of a furnace, maybe different creaking and cracking sounds. Maybe there's some traffic noise outside. Just take a moment to welcome those things in. And then start to tune into your breath, just noticing where your breath is at, perhaps noticing how your body moves as you breathe. And then noticing the sensation of air moving out and in from your body. Take a moment to notice the surfaces that are supporting you. And then just allow my voice to be your voice as we scan the body. Forehead. Right here. Left ear, mouth, lips, right shoulder, right elbow, right wrist, right fingers, feeling your whole right arm radiant sensation. Left shoulder, left elbow, left wrist, left fingers, the whole left arm has radiant sensation. upper back and chest, mid-back and torso, lower back and belly, whole midsection is radiant sensation. Right thigh, right knee, right ankle, right toes, the whole right leg has radiant sensation, left leg, left thigh, left knee, left ankle, left toes, 
the whole left leg is radiant sensation. Now there's nothing left for you to do. Just allow yourself to be. Feel free to stay in your relaxation state for as long as you need. 